Welcome to Panels and Borders. I'm Dominic. Well, Woke she is coming back. Woke she is back. We'll be back uh, this month for Season 2. So I'm going to go back to that well and uh, just see what I can scrape out of the bottom of it again. <laughs> uh, so I'm going to review the Season 2 trailer. I've watched it a few times. The season 2 trailer kind of dropped. And uh, so I'm going to review it and give my thoughts on it then just talk about uh what if i might watch the season two or not so the trailer starts off we get like a battle scene with she-ra uh, taking out this robot so right off the bat it starts with an action sequence which is not too bad and then it goes on and it kind of shows more of the developing relationship between light hope and she-ra and then uh, one scene in particular in this trailer i really liked was actually this here i thought that was really cool with the fright zone and those three i guess they're moons in the background that's one thing about the cartoon this cartoon is that the backgrounds i think are really good and which it's too bad that the the characters are so cartoony looking like why i don't know why they drew them like that why they didn't make them more detailed or more like the 2000x i don't know but anyway i really like that scene one of the things that really made me cringe because you know there's always they always got to throw something cringy in there uh is the best friend quad best friend quad like oh because there's four of us now and then that weird looking swift wing the way that the swift wind is drawn in this cartoon i just find really creepy and off-putting uh that horse uh so then it goes and shows some more battle scenes and then kind of ends off with something has happened with adora's sword it seems like it's malfunctioning erect and now catra has it and they're fighting it looks like it's some almost like a, a snowstorm or something going on there so overall i think okay i'm going to compare it to the season one trailer uh the season one trailer i think was better than this trailer i think season one did a little bit more to actually sell you on the show and then this trailer it seems like it's just you know there's not really anything any big hook there's not any big reveal to you know make you oh wow this is gonna happen in this season like you know it doesn't show i don't know like i don't know some some big event like uh some new enemy popping up or uh yeah or it would have been cool to what would have made people probably want to watch season two if they brought in some more of Hordax henchmen's like uh what would have been cool to see in this trailer that would have made me really want to watch this season two is if uh uh leech showed up uh mantana showed up and uh you know they brought grizzlor back because grizzlor was in season one even though they never called him grizzlor he was grizzlor so if one of those guys showed up and they were like in catra's army they're open like holy cow they're bringing in some of the masters here from the old toy line that would have been cool but that that's something like that they could have thrown in there it would have made me want to at least made me more, want more motivated to watch this season so now uh, i'm trying i'm still deciding if i'm gonna watch season two or not uh now i watched all of season one and i reviewed all the episodes two at a time went through the whole season and uh that's all up on my channel uh so you can go back and watch those and uh, they got a pretty good response so uh i'm gonna i'm gonna review the first two the of season one the first two episodes put that up and i'm gonna see what kind of response i get if i don't get a very good response then i probably won't review any more seasons i might watch uh the I, i'll probably might watch still watch season two but instead of doing it two at a time i'll just uh uh maybe like binge watch it or something and just kind of give like a then give like a overall review of season two in one video instead of breaking it up into multiple videos and doing it two at a time might do it that way uh so i'll see what happens uh but one thing i wanted to talk about uh there's some footage that came out i think it was from WonderCon or something where there was a scene where they they like where they were playing dungeons and dragons basically in both sets role playing but then they all appear with all the old filmation costumes on and uh so when i saw this uh this scene of catra with the old catra style headgear on uh i actually got really annoyed when i saw that i got really really annoyed um but i can't say in this video why it annoyed me so bad but it's for a reason that it's it's not for the reason you, you would think it's for a totally different reason that no one's going to be able to guess but i will reveal why in an upcoming video that i'm working on right now 
why when I saw this, I was like, oh man, it really, and then it really bugged me. But I'll, re I'll, when I bring out that video, I'll address this and explain why this annoyed me. Now it doesn't annoy me because it because it looks bad or anything. And I actually think uh, that looks really cool to see uh, the 2018 Catra with the old uh, 80s Catra costume on. I actually thought that looked pretty badass and cool. Uh, so that was good. So uh, one last thing I wanted to talk about, and that's uh, the passing of Larry Dottilio, who passed away on March 15th. He was the co-creator of She-Ra, him and uh, Michael J. Straczynski. Uh, you know, and he also worked on Babylon 5 with uh, uh, JMS. And uh, they both, uh, you know, when Mattel put the toy line out there, they were in charge of building the world and the story and all that for She-Ra. Uh, so, and I honest, didn't really know much about Larry Dottilio until I heard about his passing and then start reading and seeing all the stuff he was into and he did. So that's really, um, that's really sad news to, to hear that. Uh, someone who was, uh, kind of like influential, influential on your childhood, but you didn't realize it because they're in the background. When you're a kid, you don't realize who's working on these shows and stuff until you get older and learn more about them. Uh, but uh, what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to do a video about him and just maybe do like a retrospective of his career. Uh, I'm thinking about maybe doing something like that. I think I'm going to do that and just kind of like uh, talk about his career and all that and all the thin things he was into and stuff like that. Uh, so that's everything I got to say in this video. Let me know what you thought of this trailer in the comment section and I will see you in the next one. Thank you to all of my subscribers, and thank you for watching this video. And if you're new to the channel, like, subscribe, and share. And don't forget to hit the bell icon for notification when new videos are uploaded.